ladies and gentlemen, Bitcoin has done the impossible, right? Not the impossible actually at all. It was actually the likely scenario, but I just like to hype it up a little bit because what's been done here is very, very good. We've seen a weekly candle close above the weekly chart RSI descending wedge formation, uh, close to getting above the Ethereum RSI descending wedge formation. And after this video, praise the Lord, we can finally stop talking about these RSI weekly chart patterns because we've talked about them so much uh, for weeks on end, we've been talking about them, but good stuff all around for Bitcoin, little short-term update as well, and a little long-term update. Should we be looking to buy here? I don't think we're quite there yet, believe it or not. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what we need to do to get there, but it's gonna be a short video today. There's really not much to discuss other than these couple of things, but they are very important. So without further ado, let's get into it. Just before we do so, two exchanges, Bitunix and BingX, both are global non-KYC. And with my referral links down below, you can get a 15% trading fee discount. So sign up using my referral link to get that 15% trading fee discount. Also take a look at the screen right here where I've highlighted, sign up to win 5,500 USDT in rewards on Bitunix and 6,000 plus on BingX. Uh, as a welcome gift. So with my referral links down below, you get that 15% trading fee discount and you get access to those rewards. Again, global non-KYC, let's get into the content. Right, we know very clearly that Bitcoin uh, and its weekly chart RSI is, is exceptionally useful for, de for determining shifts in momentum, which leads to shifts in breakouts in the price chart. So for example, if we look at a few times in the past, we've got these yellow lines right here, uh, one from 2019 stemming downwards. When we broke it to the upside, it led to the 2020 bull market. This one right here, stemming from December 2020, going all the way through to the end of 2022, when we broke that to the upside, it led to the end of the bear market. Okay, so very big stuff there. That's a macro cyclical shift. Uh, and then there's one right here. These are just three examples. There's many more, but I like to show these ones because they very clearly demonstrate the upside price action potential of a weekly chart RSI breakout. But we have one right here, which lasted about seven or eight months. When we broke it to the upside, it ended a seven month long consolidation that spanned basically from the center of 2023 to the end of 2023 and led to the all time highs. So we know, for example, uh, that these three lines in the past have been very important. They have led to momentum shifts in the price chart. Weekly chart RSI is very indicative of future momentum shifts in the price chart. Uh, and that's what's occurred here right now. We've got a descending wedge formation. And luckily on the weekly candle close, which closed just a few hours ago, we saw a clean break to the upside, breaking above uh, a resistance line that stems backward about 210 days, a resistance line that stems backward since March. So six months of resistance here. Uh, sorry, about you know, 180, 190 days here. Very, very good stuff to see. Uh, and if, if the, you know, the past is anything to go off, this should lead to a shift of momentum to the upside on the price chart, which should eventually, uh, we, we should see eventually uh, a break of the overarching macro structure, which is the descending channel formation, which has been forming for around seven months now. So weekly chart RSI uh, and the momentum shifts we see on the weekly chart RSI, the breakouts above resistance lines that we see on the weekly chart RSI, lead to, historically speaking, breakouts on the price chart. The fact that we've seen a breakout on the weekly chart RSI means we are likely to see a breakout on the price chart. And so this bullish structure, this descending channel formation, which was already bull bullish, just got even more bullish. So that's great to see. On top of that, it's not just the weekly chart RSI that broke out. It's also Bitcoin closing weekly candle, very clearly closing a weekly candle above the bull market support band. Another great sign. Uh, bull market support band in the last, let's say, three or four months has been pretty choppy. We've, we've gone up and down below it a bunch of times. But if we're talking historically speaking, historically speaking, the bull market support band has just been exceptionally important. It's something that held uh, very, very majorly throughout previous bull markets and bear markets. Just take a look at the screen. Uh, and if we go back even further, in fact, let's bring up the BLX so you can see it uh, to price cycles such as something like 2018, 2017. You can actually see the bull market support band holding literally the entire way up to the bull market top. So very important indicator. The fact that we're above that now is great news. I, I understand that maybe the bull market support band is not as reliable as it once was due to the last few months of price action, but it can't hurt to be getting above it. And if we look at the short term price charts, which we will do so more in a second, but I'm just going to show you right now, uh, the fact that the bull market support band, even on the four hourly chart, ignore all the mess here, just look at the orange band. Uh, the fact that that's clearly acting as support right now, and it was clearly acting as resistance right there, 
Res resistance right there, resistance right there. Okay, resistance support. The fact that that's still occurring on a short-term basis means that even though we've seen a couple of chops up and down in the longer-term time frame, it's still very important in the shorter-term time frames. And if it wasn't important on the longer-term time frames, it wouldn't be acting important on the shorter-term time frame. So it's still valid. People are still reacting to it. The price is still moving based off of it. So it's great to see not only a weekly chart RSI breakout, but also a weekly chart breakout above the bull market support band. Let's hope that this time that maintains. Unfortunately, Ethereum, we didn't quite get the breakout on the weekly chart RSI. It may look like it, uh, but we actually closed right on top of it. And the fact that the candle opened right to the right, obviously time moves this way in charting right to the right. It looks like we saw a, a massive momentum shift breakout. We didn't really see it. Uh, but I mean, it, to me, it seems unlikely we're going to go back below it. And that even if we did, the structure would be broken as a whole. So I'm just going to ignore it uh, and just focus on Bitcoin. I think that's the way to go. Bitcoin, as we've mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, the daily chart RSI as well broke to the upside. Great to see. We saw a resistance support flip. It, it doesn't show right now, but in yesterday's video, we were right on top of it. So a clean bounce off of that RSI breakout, another good sign. A clean bullish divergence, uh, lower lows in the candle closes, higher lows on the RSI. Uh, and then also if we're looking further and we're looking through the candle closes, we can see uh, one of the lows was here at 49K. One of them was here at 52K. That is a higher low, which is the first step towards developing a fresh upwards trend. And if we break the high here at 65K, we will have developed a new short-term upwards trend. Uh, the problem is we do have resistance right here as per the 200 day moving average in bright green, which we are clearly facing as resistance right now. Uh, and if we look at the short-term charts, uh, the, the 200 moving average would be right around here, uh, you know, pressing the price down against this ascending support line, which would form some sort of ascending wedge formation. And this is going back to what I said yesterday. I'm not exceptionally bullish on the short term charts until Bitcoin gets above 65K uh, definitively and gets above the, the green 200 moving average. I don't really see a massive reason to be ultra bullish on the short term. Uh, but given the fact that the medium term is looking good uh, as per this new potential upwards trend forming and the bullish divergence in the RSI, and given the fact that now the long term is looking even better than it once was with the weekly chart RSI breakout and the break above bull market support band, uh, even if we do see a short term pullback, I don't expect it to be long lived. And I do expect these charts to be breaking upside uh, in the near future. I've always said this, you can go back and watch my videos from last month, from, the, from I think the 5th of August, I said that September will be the month that Bitcoin decides. I still stand by that. Okay, we've got about a week left of September. I still think September will be the month that Bitcoin decides, okay, uh, whether, whether we're gonna you know, look very likely to break out of this channel or not. And I think this is the first step towards making that decision definitively. Now, what I will say is that this is not a, a signal to jump all into the market because we haven't actually confirmed anything on the price chart yet. We've only done RSI confirmations, we've done short-term confirmations, but the price chart breakout on a macro scale will only occur if the macro structure breaks. So when this descending channel breaks, that would be the ultimate uh, bullish signal and that would be what people are looking for to buy. And if we do, for some reason, break downwards, that would be the sell signal, okay? But right now we haven't really confirmed uh, macro bullish strength yet. We do have, uh, we, we are leaning bullish and we do have massive bullish indications, but we, we haven't fully confirmed it. It's not like we've got the, uh, the complete picture at this point because we're still within the overall structure, right? So that's kind of where I stand on on buying right now. I think probably waiting is, is probably the best move. Uh, but again, that's me. And, and I can't really uh, you know assess your personal risk tolerances or your personal financial situations. I'm just talking from a neutral perspective. In order to make macro buys, you need to see macro confirmations. I mean, that's just basic TA 101. Uh, and right now, if we look at something like the DXY, and we take it out of Bitcoin, we take it out of crypto, and we go into something like the DXY, uh, the, the dollar's strength okay, in relation to other currencies, and assets, what we see is that the dollar is on a major support zone stemming backwards from 2015. Okay, very major support zone. And until the dollar breaks downwards, uh, I, I don't really see why you'd be majorly, majorly bullish. Like there's no reason to get ahead of yourself. The dollar, uh, the DXY is reverse correlated to assets. Okay, if this bounces, assets go down. And, and this is still on support. So it's still at threat of bouncing until that's actually broken downwards. We're not in a free range open season for assets. Uh, we're still waiting for the full confirmation. So keep an eye on the DXY. I will be doing it on this YouTube channel. And if you don't want to keep an eye on it yourself, you can just watch this YouTube channel, right? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, keep you updated. Uh, but right now, what I will say is that Bitcoin is looking more bullish than it did yesterday, right? 
uh, and it was looking bullish yesterday already, but right now it's looking more bullish than yesterday. Uh, but even with that said, it's not fully confirmed 100% all in. That's that's not the situation right now. You've got to ground yourself in reality, recognize that at the end of the day, RSI is all well and good, and yeah, it's indicative of price action, but price action itself is all that really matters. That's what's making you money and losing money. And until you see a price action breakout, uh, you've got to ground yourself in reality. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Bitcoin X exchange and the Bing X exchange, guys. These are exchanges I advertise on this YouTube channel. As I mentioned at the start of the video, 15% trading fee discounts with my referral links down below. I've also got the VIP group on Telegram. If you want to trade altcoins with me on VIP, I post trading signals five times a week. They have a 78% win rate over the course of two years. 160 signals posted, 78% uh, win rate. Very good stuff. Check it out. You're also getting access to a group chat. And then the final thing I'll mention, guys, is the Crypto Academy's Become a Trade 10 Unit course, which is on sale right now. As per the title of the course, if you do this course, you can become a trader. You will have all the skills, all of the knowledge that you need to become a trader. All the information's on the website. Actually, I'll mention one more thing, sorry. And that is my second channel, my podcast, JS Quinn. If you're interested in checking out my podcast content, I did a podcast last week on free will called The Subtle Dance of Fate. I really enjoyed making that. I think it's very, very useful. If you're interested in philosophy, uh, that podcast there can potentially change your, what, change the way you view the world. Um, so I know that's a big claim, but uh, if you're interested in any of that, check it out. I really appreciate it. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you tomorrow.